We're going to turn now to that major development involving a home we have reported on here before and the disturbing letters sent to the family who bought it. The family bought their dream home in New Jersey, never moving in after getting frightening letters from someone calling themselves the watcher. Now the family has finally found someone. Uh, I got everyone's attention here. Someone's going to buy that house. Gio Benitez is here with more. Hey, Gio. Hey, David. Good morning. Yeah, for years, so many thought nobody would buy this house because of all that negative publicity with those threatening letters. But this morning, we know the family has finally gotten rid of it by taking a major financial loss. This morning, ABC News has learned the New Jersey family allegedly terrorized by creepy letters from someone named The Watcher has finally sold the house that started their nightmare. Derek and Maria Broadus bought this idyllic home in Westfield, New Jersey for $1.3 million back in 2014. But they say a stranger kept them from moving in by sending letters like this. I watch and wait for the day the young blood will be mine again. And I pass by many times a day. You know I will be watching. I've lived here my whole life, so yeah, it was a pretty, pretty big shocker. Now, five years later, the family selling the property that they've never lived in, that has haunted them for years, taking a loss, selling it for $400,000 less than they paid for it. We spoke with their attorney in the midst of their ordeal. It's a great house. This is a total tragedy and nightmare for my clients. The watcher's letters describing anger about renovations to the home and detailing the movements of the family and their kids. One letter saying, all of the windows and doors allow me to watch you and track you as you move through the house. From day one, they've been trying to solve this case. They hired a forensic linguist to take a look at the letters and see if there were any patterns. They scoured the internet looking for clues. But despite years of investigations and while authorities did discover some DNA evidence, they never found enough to charge a suspect. Our police department conducted an exhaustive investigation. Such efforts have not, however, yielded information leading to charges being filed. In an interview with New York Magazine last year, Derek comparing the ordeal to cancer, saying we think about it every day. They wanted to get rid of the house because they knew it was going to be this burden. They knew they weren't going to move in. From there, the next thing they want more than anything is to know who did this. And we're told the family still lives in Westfield after staying with family a few blocks away from the Watcher House. Now they've bought a new home and they hope this one brings them peace of mind. But what an ordeal. Mm. We don't know anything about the new owners. No, not yet. Hopefully they're not watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we want to keep them in that home. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm sure they had full disclosure. At least I hope they did. All right. Thank you so much, Gio. And Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.